One day to the great Soren, the horn is sounding. You never know what's gonna come down the pike. But trust your feelings. For newcomers, it's a little bit about me. I've been following comets for over 27 years. I do it as a passion, a calling, mostly a calling. And I've been following them, studying them, and marrying them for a long time. I am not a rookie, so I have experience. I bring a lot to the table. Some of this stuff is so heavy duty, frontline stuff that won't make sense. Sometimes I don't want to do it. Sometimes I just want to stop. And then um, I get a knock in the head. Do the Lord's work. And that's what I'm doing. You know, I, I am following the, the clips, all the facts and revelation that people are getting. And a lot of them connecting the puzzle. People are flooded with data with insights with fact they're connecting dots at a fast rate and i see it and i understand it and i pray over it i, I pray and i meditate before i do any videos pray hard let me jump in real quick now taking a look let me refresh this page okay let's check out the latest let's see how 12p is looking like and behaving okay posted one hour oh michael yeager okay this was posted one hour ago so Basically, hot off the press. You're going to get it here first. Look at the coma. Look at the coma. Tell me that it has a magnetic feel. It has like an aura, divine presence. And there's nobody, if you search around, there's nobody that covers comets like I do. Because I think out of the box. I look at this from a 360, 360 view. I, I do it from A to Z. I bring in, I bring in anything. I, I say it like it is. Now, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I ain't perfect. Check a, take a look at this one. This is two hours ago from this gentleman here. The Va Vatican Museum. Rome. Okay. Let's take a, I'm surprised. Uh, and, but they use a, this telescope. You see it right down where the pointer's at? It's, it's not the observatory they have in uh, Arizona. Still, they're not, you're not getting, can you imagine if they used the big observatories and we got image? This would be like a hundred times closer close up. We could see the core. We could see details that blow your mind because the comet is close by, but for some reason, and this is the number two out of thousands and thousands and thousands of comets recorded. Now look at this one. This was Tony also from, I think Italy or Sp Okay, but let's take a look at Tony's image. Look at that, April 6th. Ay Dios, I tell you, I follow comets a lot, and I'm never, I mean, I'm talking a lot. Ison, Ellen, Leonard, Panstar this, Panstar that, Lovejoy, McNutt, I mean, so many. Never seen displays. You could see, I know this thing has a shield, but it seems like a little opening right here, right there, if you don't know if you can see it, use pointer time, right there right there look at look at the look at the center like a bubble oh and look at here perfect perfect square <laughs> no i'm not looking at clouds because there's so many astronomers <laughs> uh, some of you guys make me you crack me up <laughs> yeah so okay maybe the old man is not taking his medication okay so i got an excuse uh, let's see what else pops up. I mean, there's so dip. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, this one comes from, well, it won't pop up. Italy. Rome also. I wonder if this is the same guy. No, somebody, no, it's not the same guy. Somebody different. It's not the Vatican. Let's take a look at that. April 6th. Look at this. Like these two horns right here. Look at look at this. Definitely got some sort of barrier right here. Okay, let's read some of the descriptions. Okay, let's see what the see translation. Parent rotation filter, blah 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 blah. Tony responds and these guys help each other out. Increase the rotation angle use ten degrees. What kind of telescope is he using? Okay, he's using this wait, he's using this right here. Let's see if we could find it, put on Okay, he's using one of these telescopes. The same guy from Rome. I mean, these amateurs, and these things cost a lot of money. I wonder how much it costs. Let's go shopping. Just curiosity. 
Hey, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Holy Lord. Okay, okay. That's an eight. He had a what? What did he have? He had a 16. Hey, ay, ay. He could buy a car. I mean, used car. So these things are, and that's not including the equi other equipment, the accessory. You got to buy this. You got to buy that. You got to buy computers. So these amateurs, they, they invest a lot of money into this. So, and, and then we got these government funded, I keep harping. No, it looks very similar to this lady from Japan. It looks very similar, the two horns. I mean, right here, right here. And it's a different person from a different location, Italy to Japan. Right there, right there. And look at the way the jets is distribution, the wave. And also too, look at right here. Let's put it, let's put it down. I wish I had uh, one of those lines. Let's see if I could do this with Dow before it fades out. Yeah, I'm looking at clouds. Apparently, every, a lot of people are looking at. But to the, the astronomers, the amateurs, they 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 can't. They got to stay. They they got to keep their cool. We know what happens to astronomers when when they reveal. Remember all those accidents and the when they when they took image. Holy, look at this. They had accidents. Uh, it was a rash of accidents. Astronomers were suddenly f losing control of their vehicles, or you know. Um, okay, this is Tony from yesterday. Ah, uh, see, no, Italy, Italy. God, the Italians are up there taking images. Look at this. Whoops. Look how wicked this thing looks. I mean, you can, and look at the inside. Look at the barrier. Look at the barrier. That bubble. That inner nucleus look at the way he's shooting i've never seen a comet like this any i mean the way it changes let's say we take a picture right now who knows what we capture you, you got to be on this 24 7 like i said let's take a this this is not getting can you imagine if we got close-ups okay uh this is a this is wicked this is amazing this is definitely it's an omen it's a harbinger of what let's take a look and see what nasa is up to Okay, today is the 6th, and they still have not updated it. So they're basically blackout mode, period. This is crazy. This thing's probably in the 8,000 plus, probably 9,000. Who knows? Who knows? So that's the latest from them. Okay, looking at going back on Twitter X, see the latest, if there's been anything posted. Yep, they're still calling it uh, the Devil's Comet. There's a lot of attention now. You see the hours. I mean, it's a lot of tension, and so let's see. People are starting to, some people are starting to pay attention, and it's going to be visible. It's, it's almost a 3.5. That means naked eye object, which is true. You know, I was, I was at the eye doctor, and we talked about the eclipse, and she told me that the, during 2017 that she had a, afterwards, she had a lot of people with eye damage. So don't, don't even bother looking up. People don't realize those cheap glasses that are made in, uh, you know where, and you know where country, and they sell them for cheap, and people wear, wear them, and they can't get super because as soon as they're done doing it, they'll sell and close up shop, and who are you going to sue? A ghost? So I wouldn't look up at it for many reasons. I know when it gets dark, I'm going to pray, put the protection, guardian angel protection. In that book I referenced, The End of Eden describes this, all these civilization, all of a sudden having an outbreak of craziness lucura people losing their mind the comet is apparently due to return and misses it in the case of this civilization the aggressor the Aryan, had also been peaceful he suggests that amidst to be without proof is that the comet released some toxin substance and he suggests that this could have contained the fight or flight hormone that were right there which in part doses would have produced violence so in other words people went crazy and started losing their minds according to this this study now if you look at simon and schuster the book put it on pause and it gives a little idea 15 bc basically it was who knows time of moses there's so many things and it mentioned specifically palms brooks and, to, and this book was published in 2007 and the one that did the research that went back yeah he's done a lot of a lot of books, Templars, a lot of books. So he, he does research. Okay, this this go here. I looked at this before, and this is, 
it kind of looks like it doesn't it right here even talks again inky it could be responsible to nuska siberia but right here this part right here so carl sagan and he does the research he has the the data and he's he puts it at the this right here if all this is true this is and look at the way they they symbolize it according to his writings so there's a lot of connection here with the symbolism and stories of ancient Egypt and the prior civilization I th I think I find that fascinating taking a quick look at the sky everything's to be the same here it is and there you got Jupiter and, and Uranus and Mercury and Comet 12P in the in Aries yep it's it's right now a 3.5 yes 3.5 which means okay let's look at the magnitude chart and this is provided by Harvard at a 3.5 is basically right here right here so what it says is naked eye rural suburban small cities binoculars bright urban areas faintest naked eye star visible from many smaller cities inner suburbs but with the eclipse of darkening in the country remember i i imagine the street lights are going to turn on when it goes through a major city but in the rural in the country shouldn't have no problem the way it's acting is acting weird it's acting like no comet i've ever seen before none anybody out there tell me that's been following comets have you ever seen anything like this hmm no have you ever seen a blackout as far as the the big boys no so that's where we're gonna have it we still got one well one more day who knows who knows remember the, the higher it gets the the brighter it is this chart that i put in a long time ago gives a like 1843 the tail reached 200 million miles 1811 110 million miles and this one's 1910 Halley's 69 million miles and here's the planets here's earth here's the Sun here's Mercury here's Venus if we were to calculate using this as an example I shouldn't use a bread instead if we use this as an example let's say it's on the 50 yard line right right here that's earth and that's where it's gonna be it's on a 50 yard line if it's over they say depending anything over 10 million miles or 15 million miles 20 million miles it'll cross our orbital plane and been reported uh, auroras is seen around a comet now if we had the again we could see the it definitely it definitely has the color, the, the the characteristics of having that, without a doubt. Now, if you put me in Hawaii, put, give me, let me uh, use one of those those observatories, since it's so way up on top of the mountain in Hawaii. I'll be looking at it right now. They're probably going to nighttime. That's when they they the astronomers work. Look at that. You got you got one two three four five six and who knows how many others are off the frame here i mean if we had an image from one of these i mean we probably detect they, they they know they know they're just not being honest that's the way to up oh, surges see this is what a normal comic would look like i mean we already got the actual size it's 30 not 10. Is, is this size right here right there now I studied this a long time ago this comes from the Russians when they, when they did Vega 1 that's uh there was two satellites Vega 1 Vega 2 when the USSR and they were flying by Comet Halley and they detected you know they had all the instrument they were going to Venus and it just happened they crossed path so they took all the with all the instruments they had this was published back in 1986. There's nuclear physicists. It's an intense report. That's what I like about them. They're, they're open. 
the enhanced magnetic field. So in other words, they observe the magnetic field. And here's the, you could put on pause, rotation inside the ionosphere. Maybe a result of observation of previous interplanetary, interplanetary magnetic field having penetrated into the cometary ionosphere. On Wikipedia, gives a little history on the spacecraft and its mission. Okay, here it is, right here, Halley's mission. Image started to return on 4th of March, 1986, and were used to help pinpoint this spacecraft from the European close flyby of the comet. So I had a flyby, and there was two of them. Made its closest approach on 6th of March. Put on, there's a lot more information here. And it was also Vega 2. And, and look at all the instruments they had on board. I mean, they were loaded. So they got close to Halley's Comet right here. Here's another report. That's the spacecraft magnetic field observation at the outbound quasar parallel bow shot of Comet. The bow shot, just the same thing I've been um, describing with 12P. So this is nothing new. Country of publication, Germany. It's a long time ago, guys. And this ain't the first one. Remember, 67P, NASA said it right off the bat. It had uh, had everything. And then they pulled it out. They just, they just cannot, you know. Let's take a look, see what's looking the latest over there. Oh, boy, let's see this. Okay, April, April 6th, today. Holy, wow, it looks like an eye. Look at that. It's a perfect round circle. And there's that features again. Let me see if I can move it. Oops, it doesn't show up good. Yeah, right there. What the hell is this stuff? It looks so like some sort of cell. See the barrier right here? Like your force field is more stronger here. Perfect, perfect bubble. That's the nucleus. We know it's over 35. 35. You can see the outer disturbance right here also. Yeah, please give me a like. Subscribe. This The more likes that... See, I should be saying this in the beginning. See, that's my mistake. That's why I'm stuck in the basement. My, probably one of the reasons of many. Well, I already know why I'm stuck in the basement. I don't say in the beginning, like everybody, all the other contents creators say, you know, and put the graph, they put the graphic in front, you know, subscribe, share, like, comment, because it helps with the all the it gets this information out to more, especially those that, um, that are following this and following prophecies, following the signs, like the Magi, look at me, it's like a Magi, following the signs. In the ancient time, they used to call it uh, moving stars. They didn't call it comets. Let's take a, this is the long video. Take a look to see the world. Her movements are like zombies. Look at that. Look at that. You're getting more and more of this kind of behavior. The drugs are a combination of many, many factors. Poisoning. Look at this. You've seen it. You've seen it all over. These are spiritual possession. Drugs, yes, but also spiritual. Remember what happened in Haiti and California? We're entering that moment, people. Pray, pray. Pray for protection. Pray. I have heard that uh, in New Matter, there's been little quakes. We don't know what kind of magnetic connection this comet have, but apparently must have something because if you the the study I did with the other vault, every time it passed a volcano, this, that, always something major happens. And the closest it gets, the brighter it's gonna get is on the, the beginning of Passover, the twenty first. Hallelujah. Amen. Until next time, Beth Father.